Here is a quick tutorial on live object detection and training using the Je vois Smart Camera. Here we start by opening a terminal. We are going to just make sure that, first of all, we don't have the modem manager on Ubuntu that is interfering with Je vois. We just remove it, it was already removed in this case. And let's make sure also that we have permission to access the serial port of the Jawa camera. Once this is done, we are here going to use the Arduino uh, interface to communicate with Jevoi. The camera is already plugged in here and ready to go. We select this board, that serial port, open the serial monitor, make sure that you select the right um, new line, convention, and board rate. You can then type help and communicate with your camera. Let's now start a video stream from the camera. And for this demo, we are going to use resolution 320 by 252, which is the one that launches the object detection module. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to train that module live by sending some comments to the camera uh, to learn about new objects. So first, let's look at the help message now that this module is loaded. We can see that it brings in some custom commands, list, save, and delete, del and those are the comments that we are going to use. It also has a number of parameters, in particular one of them is to show a window and that window is going to determine the area where we are going to uh, grab pictures so that we can train new objects. Uh, here we just set this parameter to make the window visible so that when we show some objects we know that uh, we are going to use the right size and the right distance. Let's train this uh, deck of card. Um, it's very simple, we just type save and give it a name while it is in the field of view and we try to make it fill that crab window. Here you can see as soon as I, as soon as I pressed return, uh, the command was received and the object was trained and now it is being detected. And if you look at the bottom of the, the video uh, stream, you can see it's being detected under that name that I chose uh, counts. Let's try to train another one, this uh, micro SD card. We center it well and then save, give it a name. I'm going to call it SanDisk. Make sure it's well centered before I press return. Center it, return, and that's it. It's trained and ready to be detected even when I show it on complex backgrounds under different lighting condition and um, different pose. Let's um, add another one. Here is some uh, SSD. Let me take a good look at it. And I'm going to again here just type save and give it a name. I call it SSD. Center it well in that grab window. And that's it. Uh, it, is, it is saved. I can look at it again on a more complex background, for example on the cover of that book and you can see that it is still uh, properly being detected. It is possible to change the size and the shape of the window. Uh, for example here, let's try to now train for this robot. Uh, the robot has a square aspect ratio, so we can set uh, the parameter that's called win, and we give it a width and height as a percentage of the uh, grab width and height. In this case, I just say I want 50% of the width, 70% of the height, which gives an appropriate aspect ratio for that robot. And I just type save robot, center it well. Here it is, it is saved, and now it is also uh, trained and, and being detected. I can put it on a complex background. I'm still able to detect it properly. And let me see if the other objects hopefully still work. Still playing with that one here. Okay, here I'm just running the list command to see what has been trained. We have the cards, priority, which came by default. It's a priority mail picture. The robots and this SSD also was another picture that was on there. If now I type Dell robot, which I just did here, uh, we can see that the 
uh, training image from the robot was deleted. The robot is not recognized, but my deck of cards is still recognized. The SSD is still recognized. The SSD is still OK on the complex background. Not on every frame, but reasonable. Deck of cards is still OK. Even with some partial occlusions. Let's have a look at that. Trying to occlude using my other object. You can see that there is some resilience to occlusion, but when the object gets too occluded, it is not declared or detected anymore. Uh, this is a, a setting, a parameter setting that can be adjusted how tolerant you want to be um, to occlusions and, and partial detections. Here we can still detect this one, no problem. Having some difficulties on that different background, or maybe it's the lighting condition that is too different. Here it still looks okay. Let's have a look at that robot again. It's still forgotten since we have deleted it earlier. And that's it. Enjoy! Try it yourself!